Your name is Muhammad. You're a Muslim teacher, got two kids and the third on the way. You hear your mom sick overseas, you gotta leave the next day, so you fly to the other side, but everyone's already mourning. Devastated, you fly back, but you're detained without warning. From behind a desk, an officer appeared, gave you special treatment because of your beard. Ah, you're Muslim, I see, he says with a grin. We've got executive orders, you're not allowed in. But this is my country, I can't be locked out. I'm a New York resident, this is a joke, no doubt. They vet every aspect of your life, vet after vet. They say your presence in America is a national threat. Your name is Muhammad, but you're not the only one. There are hundreds of thousands of others affected. Residents and refugees, everyone suspected even green cards are facing red lights. How can you ban Muslims when it's not even a race? Muslims are from all over the place. Borders are just lines on a map drawn by hand. You say, God bless America, but forget it's his land. Fear happens when people fail to see that you're actually just like me. We have to see each other for who we are. We eat the same food, drive the same car. We both have kids who drive us crazy. We all have weekends when we're lazy. We all hate spiders, cold coffee, and lines, and we're not a fan of parking fines. We follow the same shows on our TV. We like reading a good book under a tree. We dread shoveling when the snow hits hard. We have barbecues in the backyard. You get your wife flowers? Well, so does he. And we all love a nice warm cup of tea. We love it when Nana makes a home-cooked pie and when we watch The Notebook we always cry. You see you and I we're a lot alike. I may be Muhammad, you may be Mike. Our lives are more similar than you think. Our humanity is our common link. We have the same pleasures and the same fears. The same things make us happy, the same things bring us tears. So no, I am not a security threat. We're just friends who haven't met. At least not yet.